So first of all, you should go to python.org, which is the official website of Python, and then you should click on this, downloads, and here I should just scroll down, and here you can see these are the releases according to the latest release. And among these, for example, by the time of recording, this one is the latest version, so I click on it, and then here I should just scroll down, and you can see here are the files. And because I'm on Windows and my system is 64 bits, so I click on this, and you can see it's starting to download. So this is the file which I have downloaded, so I right click on it, and I click on run as administrator. So in this step, you should check this one at python.exe to path, which is very important. Remember to check this one. And then we press on this customize installation, and I press next. And in this step, you should define the install location, which is very important because when you install PyCharm, a file called Python Interpreter is going to be installed in this location. And you need that file, which is called Python Interpreter. For example, if you want to install an IDE such as, for example, PyCharm, you need that Python Interpreter. And you need to know the location of that Python Interpreter. So this location is very important. So suppose that I want to install my Python here, you can see in this folder, so I right click and copy this path, and then I go to installation, and let's select all of these and delete them, and paste this path, and I press install. And I should wait for the installation process, and you can see while it is installing, it is creating some files and folders. So that said, you can see the setup was successful, so I click on this, close. And here we can see we have different files, but this one is very important, which is basically the Python interpreter, python.exe. And if you don't see these extensions, you should go to view and check this one, file name extensions, because if you don't check it, you, can, you can't see the extensions. But if you check this one, you can see the extensions as well. But this file, which is called python.exe, is the Python interpreter, which is very important. For example, if you want to install PyCharm, an IDE such as PyCharm, you need the location of this file. And now in order to verify that we have installed Python correctly, so I press Windows on my keyboard and here I search for IDLE. And you can see IDLE Python 3.12, which is the latest version which we have installed recently. So I click on it. And here I can type whatever I want. So for example, print, please like the video. So I press enter and you can see here is the output. And also if I want to create a Python file, so I should click on this file, a new file, and here I should type a piece of code. And after that, I click on file and save. And for example, suppose that I want to save that file in this location. And let's call it code 01. And I press enter or press that save button. And you can see it has been saved. And this is the location of the file. And this is the name of the file. And now if I click on this run and run module, you can see here is the output. So now let's close this and once again, and let's close this as well. But let's go to this location in order to see our file. So I close this and let's go to that location. So there it is. You can see here is the file which you have created. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.